your DJ. Come out of this when you like. And they've gone, no, I'm doing my mascara. Hello, I can't. Get my makeup done so I can whiz up to glorious Stoke on Trent to continue filming our next series of Great Pottery Program, which is so fantastic. We've got some incredible photographers and creative. They're all so different. It's just so amazing. Kate and Keith on board, of course. I love the pictures. Whizzing off up there after this show. And uh, we'll be on BT2 sometime in the autumn. Hey, Mark Lutham, Harrow in London, choosing today's first and we'll do that next. After we've got the news on BBC Radio 2 from Justine, we are online on Digital Radio on 1891 FM. BBC News at 9 o'clock. This is Justine Green. The Chancellor George Osborne has insisted the UK is ready to face the future from a position of strength. In a statement aimed at calming the financial markets after Britain's vote to leave the European Union on Thursday, Mr Osborne said it would not be plain sailing. And he said the government was equipped for whatever happened and there would be no immediate emergency budget. Economics editor Kamal Ahmed was listening. He said he would turn to his political future in the coming days, but that in the moment it was time for him to serve his country. He was still Chancellor of the Exchequer and it was time for stability. He said he'd been speaking to the Bank of England constantly over the weekend.